Google Sheets makes it really easy to find measures like the mean, the median, and the mode. I'm going to show it to you a couple of different ways, first using functions, and then we're going to use some really easy methods for finding these. To go ahead and start using functions, I'm going to click on an empty cell. I'm going to find the mean, which is the sum of all of my data values divided by the number of values that I have. For Google Sheets, this is average. So I'm going to go equals average parenthesis two ways that you can grab your data all of my data is in this column and nothing else so i can either click on the entire column or i can go ahead and click on the first value click hold and drag through the data and you'll notice that it populates it there with b3 through b18 you don't need a parenthesis at the end go ahead and hit enter now it gives me a lot of decimal places i can move up here and grab my increase or decrease decimal say i wanted one decimal place it will round it there to a single decimal place for me next is the median the median is the middlemost number if you've got an even number of values it's going to be the average of the two middlemost values values. But again, really easy just by typing in equals into an empty cell, median, parenthesis. I'm going to go ahead and click on the column here. So it says all of B, B to B, and then hit enter to get the median. Next is the mode. The mode is the most frequent data value. So I'm going to go equals mode parenthesis. Um, I'm going to click on that column and then enter. So the mode does exist and that's at 61.6. If it didn't exist, it's going to give you not available. Next is the mid range. The mid range is going to be, um, it's going to take the width of that data and then average the minimum and the maximum. So to find that mid range, I'm going to go equals parentheses minimum plus maximum divided by two. So I want the minimum of my data parenthesis plus the maximum of my data. So parenthesis, grab my data, close parenthesis, close that numerator, and then divide it by two, and we get the mid range. I'm also going to do the range and the count just because those are related here, even though they're not measures of center. In order to do the range, that's going to be the maximum minus the minimum. So I'm going to go equals max parenthesis. Again, it's in a column, so it makes it really nice to grab my data minus the minimum. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that data again and then enter. Finally is the count. So that's going to give me the number of data values. And this is the function count. So equals count. I'm going to go ahead this time and click, hold, and drag through my data and then hit enter. Next, let's use some really great tools to find these measures. The first one is column stats. You're going to find that in your data menu. So I'm going to click on data and then column stats. Over here on the right hand side, I want to find column stats for column B. You can go ahead and click on column B or you can choose it here by using the arrows. If I scroll down, it's going to give me the values that we've computed. I've got the average there, the median, the minimum, and the maximum. Another way to do this is with an extension. If you don't have this extension already, you're going to go extensions and then add-ons, get add-ons. I'm going to be using the Excel Stat Cloud. The Excel Miner Analysis Toolpack is another good one. I'm going to choose Excel Stat Cloud and then start. Working over here on the right-hand side, start and then describing data. Lots of different options here. I'm going to choose descriptive statistics. Yes, I've got quantitative data. Let's go ahead and select the data. I'm going to click, hold and drag through my data and then click the arrow to populate that. I do have a sample label. I've got weight there on top and then I click on run. Now it's dropped those measures into another sheet. I'm going to go ahead and click on this DESC. And you'll notice that it's got the values I was looking for with some additional values, which is great. But there's my mean, there's my median, along with some other values. Go ahead and take a look at this next video here because there are so many other statistical measures that Google Sheets will compute for you. Thanks so much for watching.